Greetings, this is Jerry Revere from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video addresses alternatives to upgrading Branch Gateway firmware in the Communication Manager Duplex Server Template environment. This video addresses some alternatives to upgrading the Branch Gateway firmware due to the absence of a TFTP FTP distribution method in the Communication Manager Duplex Server Template pair introduced with the System Platform 6.0. Some alternatives are 4 of the 5 CM templates do provide utility services and can be utilized to distribute gateway firmware. The firmware distribution method has a relatively low impact on the server capabilities. An additional alternative is a customer can host a firmware on their own corporate FTP or TFTP server. With Avaya OR 6.2, this introduces a utility services only template. That template has all the same functions as the others, and it is based on a dedicated server installation. The expected primary function of this template is the enhanced directory. This server should be considered the primary for firmware distribution. The demo that follows will be utilizing the installer's laptop, running a local TFTP or FTP server for the firmware distribution. A bit of background information is required at this point. The branch gateway being built and distributed today are delivered with a load of 31.x load line firmware. The 31 load line is a 6.x release firmware. The branch gateway also has a 6.x authentication file installed. So if the new gateway is being deployed into a communication manager 5.2.1 environment, the firmware should be downgraded to the latest in the 30.x load line and the authentication file changed to the 5.x version as the encryption key is changed for security reasons between major releases. The demo is taking the opposite approach however and that is upgrading the 30.x load line to the 31.x and the authentication file will be upgraded as well to the 6.x released version. There are two commands that I'll be entering to understand the critical points and then the third to upgrade the actual firmware. The first is to identify the authentication file version installed in the target gateway. That command is show auth file info. The major release file version is indicated as 5.x. The next command is a show image version command. That command is one of many that can be used to identify the boot bank the device is booting from. As you can see by the word current in parentheses, that is the version currently running the gateway from bank B. Our task then is to upgrade the inactive bank, which is bank A. I have now rearranged my screen slightly to show at the top my locally installed TFTP server on my laptop. This is not a requirement, but for illustrative purposes only. This particular TFTP server is known by the name of TFTP32D, as it supports IPv6 as well as IPv4. I have issued the upgrade command, but have not executed it. The command string details the bank to upgrade by the SWImageA option, the firmware file name to retrieve, and the IP address of where to retrieve it from. I have executed the command and confirmed that is what I wanted to do. The gateway prepares for the upgrade and makes a TFTP call to the TFTP server. The TFTP server responds by opening a status dialog and displays where it is currently in the process of distributing the 15 megabyte file. I have entered the show status command in the gateway CLI several times now to look at the process and what portion of the process has been completed. Generally this is the way you would know that the transfer is occurring. When the running state changes to idle you will know the transfer is complete. Issuing the show image version command after the transfer has completed shows that the firmware on bank A has been upgraded. 
The next step in the process is to make Bank A the current boot bank. That is done by issuing the set boot bank Bank A command. The command was accepted and to make that active a reset must be performed on the gateway. I am performing that reset now. I'll continue after the reset completes. After logging back into the upgraded gateway, I am entering the show image version command once again. Please note that the current indicator is associated with the new firmware that was just uploaded and installed. At the start of this demo, it was identified that the authentication file needed to be upgraded as well to the 6.x release. I went to rfa.avaya.com and into the AFS subsystem. Using the AFID shown, I generated the 6.x version file for us to install. The authentication file install is also done with a copy TFTP command shown on the screen. The keyword now though is auth file followed by the 6.x authentication file name. Upon executing and confirming the command, the AFID is validated and the file is transferred. Issuing the show auth file info command again shows us that the file has installed and has a major release version now of 6.x. The gateway firmware and authentication file have been completely upgraded to the 6.0 release. Thank you for your time today. We hope that this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing avaya.